Hello, and welcome to the finals of a Return to Ravnica draft. We won the die roll once again, so we're on the play. Oh, no, shoot. I was about to explain <laughs> what we were going to do the first turn, and I kind of missed it. So that was embarrassing, but this guy is cheap enough that it shouldn't matter too much. But we do have to take the, the second turn to promenade it up. This is going to be like a Rakdos aggressive deck. There was certainly enough... Yeah, <laughs> there was certainly enough of that going around, but we can play out a healer to get a little bit ahead on life. And Rakdos is very strong. Oh, that might be very slow, too. We're going to be attacking for five this turn. Yeah, we can even do it uh, with the key rune here. So we just play that in a land, Civic Saber. and equip that, attack for five. They could have a haste creature here. Uh, as long as it doesn't have haste and lifelink, then I'm not too sad about it. That guy's five mana. Annihilating fire, ooh, well that's pretty good. Now we're only attacking for four a turn, but they don't have another land. Nope, oh, just kidding, we're attacking for five a turn, just not this turn. Uh, shoot. This guy's only one color, so it's only plus one, plus one. Uh, if we activate our bird, that's attacking for six a turn. Or if we re-equip the Civic Saber each time, it's one more, so it'll be seven. Splatter Thug. Oh no, they're unleashing it. That's desperate. Inspiration. Hmm. You know, I kind of want to risk it here. We're going to inspiration ourselves to try to draw land. If we do, and it's blue or white, we get to attack for six. It's not. So we'll attack for four and cast a fencing ace. But yeah, that, that guy just can't block, so that's not a big problem. Next turn, uh, it'll be seven or nine, depending on how we do it. We might need to arrest or kill something, but not now. I mean, we're, we're 20 life. And we've got a lot more power on the board than, than our opponent. And anything they cast, we have an answer to for a while. Golgari Longlegs. We just don't have quite enough mana. Not quite enough mana. We could exile that and attack for six. Or we could arrest it and attack for more than six. That's not really necessary. I'm gonna I'm gonna judgment it. Kinda uses our mana pretty well. And attacking for six means they're dead next turn. Almost no matter what they do. They need two blockers. And even then, I think they're dead. We arrest something. No, they're, they're still alive if they have two blockers. But not by much. That was a good annihilating fire. Our deck is well set up against an aggressive deck. And it has a strong late game, so that's kind of why we're doing so well. It's not the best against an aggressive deck, but if it gets to the mid game, it's got a lot of things like, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, here's the deck Sphere of Safety. Yeah, I always forget the name of that. Sphere of Safety, it has a couple Centaur healers to, to help out there. Dyna Charge, oh boy, five damage. Unless he doubles it twice more, I think we're okay. 15. Plays a blocker. And, ooh, it's a 5-5 blocker. Well, sorry, dude. That was never good enough. Yep. 
Swift Justice. That's a good one to bring in, right? That is lifelink and first strike. We can take out a Civic Saber. I mean, I do like Civic Saber, but if they just kill our creatures, it's not that good. Chemister's Trick, we don't want to get too much... Close this thing. We don't want too much red. You know, we need double red for our one red card, but it's not the end of the world if we don't draw it. Cancel's a little too slow. They're not playing Golgari cards. Cremate's pretty good against that. Uh, the rest of this is just not, not great in this situation, so here we go. Even Rootborn Defenses. I don't really love this card. It's, it's the kind of card you'd easily side in against Supreme Verdict. But we don't have enough tokens to make it just always good. It's just you know, if they have one or two pieces of removal, it's just three mana to counter specific spells, which is, you'd rather just have cancel at that point. Okay. Yeah, another good hand. It is a turn three centaur healer, and it is a turn four centaur healer. And enough of those. Ooh, or an armory guard. Probably a centaur healer, though. Ooh. The Shred Freak. Okay, so being on the play is much better for the Rakdos player. Yes, we want to pay that. <clears throat> but the healer is going to make up some of the life and hopefully stop it attacking. Yeah, th their start in game one was pretty slow, to say. Ooh, that first strike is annoying. What are we going to do about that? Not much. Not much for now. The Armory Guard is a good blocker for it, but I'm a little afraid of what they could have here. If they can kill the healer, we're still in pretty bad shape. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Or maybe they can, they just want to play something bigger. Chainwalker. And Dagger Drum Imp. One of the cards that didn't seem as good as it is, but it is good. Key rune into Drudge Beetle. <clears throat> it's kind of the same thing as Armory Guard, and I like it a little more because it does give us answers to the Dagger Drum Imp next turn and possibly Tristani's Judgment for the Thug. The Armory Guard just... yeah, it's also good. But, but it doesn't do all the same things. Like, I'd obviously rather have Armory Guard than Drudge Beetle, but this still means we're only taking four this turn, hopefully. Oh, they're all coming in, so I'm not sure what this is going to be, but it might be a, a giant pump spell. Like, all creatures get plus one attack. In any case, we've still got a block like this. That was weird. Why would... I mean... That was kind of weird. I guess they want to guarantee that they, they get in this 4 damage. Still. Still a bit strange. Armory Guard's pretty good here. It does block just about everything that we need it to. Um, yeah, I like it better than the Rhino. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I hope I don't regret this too much. I don't think I will. The uh, Even if they kill the Centaur dude, It still blocks the 4 damage, and if they have a pump spell for power, we might just be trading it. Yeah, that's the thing. Dyna charge. That's what I thought they would have last turn. Still a good block here. I 
think, right? They do five first strike and then three more. <laughs> a little scary. But we do get to gain some life back and swift justice. Ooh, that's a nice one. I want to gain the life and then let's say double block the splatter thug. <clears throat> <clears throat> they won't see it coming. It's the safest play. And if we double block the splatter thug and they have a trick, then we can swift justice the other one to to still trade with the thug. So I, yeah, I guess they would still attack here. And the the imp is only really one. So yeah, well, we lose one guy, then then they lose the thug. Lobber crew, God, that's a good one too. They're all pretty good, but I'm going to sort of bluff attack in here. It's not really a bluff. I wonder if they take it. No, they're, they're not going to take it, so that's kind of cool. Or, I'm sorry, they're not going to block. There's no real reason for them to. That's another thing to look at. What if I didn't have swift justice? Would it be correct to attack there? Yeah, probably. Um, because they might play around it. Drudge Beetle. Let's get out the Rhino. We need one more red or blue, and we can cast Niv Mizzet. Cast a multicolored spell and tap it. Yeah, that, that's annoying. This is all going not super well. We still have Tristani's Judgment. Any land means we can Judgment and swift justice inspiration okay so the play here is just attack with both of these <laughs> they're not doing much uh, good blocking and they're gonna try to use these lobber crews to, to finish us off so one two three four we're dead if they have a multicolored spell Five, unless we do something pretty crazy. We could swift justice, you know what I think I'm going to do is inspiration ourselves. Yeah, we won't have enough to, to get the key rune, but I want to see if we have to gain four life off the rhino. We might. Or if we have to kill a lobber crew. If... Mm, the problem with killing the lobber crew is we just can't do it. If we do inspiration. So we take one here to four, three, two. Then we'll have to use swift justice like next turn. If we did Tristani's judgment. Yeah, I'm just thinking of using Tristani's Judgment on this Lobber crew. We're in pretty good shape if we do that, unless they have some 3 damage spell. 6. And we'd be okay there if we did Swift Justice. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. Thought it through. Keep up the Promenade, because that's kind of the, the, most, the most good stuff. We just have to do this sort of to live. Buys us a couple turns. And I think we get to play out Fencing Ace here, you know. So next turn. Next turn we'll judgment something. We'll judge something. Uh, Traitor's Instinct. Guess we shouldn't have played the Fencing Ace. Nice play. Yeah, we're dead, because they've got two more damage on top of that. Traitorous Instinct. God, Swift Justice. Uh, Swift Justice was good. Electricery kills the Flyer. So does Aerial Predation. Besides that, I mean, Civic Saber just makes our own thing. 
our own thing bigger for them to steal. I think I like how I like how these how that played out. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to change anything, so let's run it back. If that's their only flyer, it's really not worth playing Predation. If that's their only one toughness creature, it's not worth playing Electricery. We do have answers to flyers. Cool. Yeah, we'll be on the play. It's a lot less scary. And wow, they're going <laughs> to... Supreme Verdict, so we win, I guess. Keep. We need another white. That shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, white is our our most pervasive mana source, and there it is. Most pervasive? Can you can you say that? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? All right, security blockade on a planes. Get our little night blocker out. Very good card against against a Rakdos deck. All right, here's Splatterthug, and we'll have the Armory Guard to deal with it, and Niv-Mizzet to, to set things straight after Supreme Verdict, if it comes to it. The Armory Guard doesn't, doesn't answer the Splatterthug perfectly. i got to remember this guy can't block. It's, it's been a while since I've played against uh, Unleash and stuff. We also need the blue. We do have the blue for Supreme Verdict, but we don't have the blue for the Draco Genius here. I mean, no real drawback to them attacking here. And if they spend some stuff to kill it, I'm fine with that too. If they devote more to the board, we can always Supreme Verdict. Lobber Crew, Lobber Crew number one. Security Blockade number two. All right. Might as well attack here. Why not? Probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, now they definitely block. I mean, I shouldn't have played the first security blockade. I wasn't really thinking. So we're down to only taking two damage a turn, where we could be taking... 4 damage a turn. Ah, oh, they're not attacking. Yeah, I mean, I would have attacked with the Splatter Thug there. We can't kill it. That is not an option for us. You know, we might not need this Supreme Verdict. Like, they can't block with um, Splatter Thug. We're kind of getting 2 damage in. That's the most they can be getting in. So I'm going to play out the Centaur Healer. So now we'll be getting four damage in a turn. And if they don't attack, they're only getting one in a turn, but I guess they don't like activating Lobber Crew. All right, here's where Security Blockade gets really good, because we get to prevent the damage from the Dagger Drum Imp. And they don't get to gain any life. Yeah, so that's five. They, they're they playing around the plus one spell. I guess that's kind of smart. And one to us, finally. Oh, we should have prevented it. What am I thinking? No, I like this better. Because now we can prevent more damage from the attack. Yeah, that's close. I probably should have prevented it, because it's unclear that they do attack with Splatter Thug, and we'd still get to block the damage from Dagger Drum Imp. Hopefully that doesn't matter. <laughs> Hopefully we don't lose the game at exactly zero life.
So what are you going to do then? Maybe they have the, the nightmare horse stampede monster. I forget what it's called. Carnival Hellsteed. <laughs> That's what it's called. Okay. Zorius Kirun. Yeah, so that means we have one more source towards uh, Niv-Mizzet. Might as well get that going. And they've still unleashed everything, like a true like a true Rakdos mage. So we can kind of come in here. Yeah, I don't mind attacking with the, the Pegasus. Sure, it's a good blocker for the Imp, but an even better blocker for the Imp is the Security Blockade, and we have the Key Rune up now as well. And they still want to take more damage off of this thing, which is fine with me. Yeah, I'll block it this turn. That's fine. They're still not going to want to attack with the Imp into a, the Key Rune. And they might just be dead here. Let's say they block the, the healer. They can hold back the Imp to block something. <clears throat> and they're not dead. They get pretty low. Traitorous Instinct. Hmm. Okay. Well, if this is enough to kill me from 22, I will be most surprised. I'm going to try to go after the bird here. It's not necessarily the safest thing to do. But this looks like a desperation attack. It does gain them a life. Cryptborn horror. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So that is an 8-8. Eight, eight. And we can get in 3 damage. Maybe we attack with everything here, besides the key rune and cast Supreme Verdict, and they don't have much left after that. So they take one damage. I got scared for a second. I thought we didn't have the mana for it. <laughs> we were just dead on the crackback or something. Yeah, that's about right. But no, we, we got this. This is good. Okay, I'm just going to do it with the, the key rune mana, because if they do have haste, then this plays around that. <clears throat> eh, it doesn't matter, we'll just cast the ace anyway. Yeah, so it'll get us down to 13. So we should, for the record, we should be at 14. They can't even play their 2-1 haste anymore into the fencing haste. They could, they just can't attack with it. Ooh. Hellful, hell, yeah. Hellhole flailer is kind of cool. And we don't have Niv-Mizzet mana. But we do have 4 damage here. And they've got... 8-ish damage next turn. Shouldn't be enough to kill us. We can block two of it. So it's like only six. Yeah, I, most of the things in their deck aren't going to be able to, to block two creatures. Prevent the damage. Prevent the damage. Uh, yeah. Gutter snipe. Well, that could have been ridiculous <clears throat> earlier in the game. Civic saber. I like this because. <clears throat> It means our fencing ace lives when they block it. If they have an answer for the key rune, for example. Yeah, and I guess it's clear that I'm about to attack, so so yeah, good games. 
So we won our little Return to Ravnica flashback draft, and I uh, will be posting, hopefully, a Gate Crash flashback and the Ultimate Dragons, um, the block draft, the Dragon's Maze, Gate Crash, and then Return to Ravnica. Because those, those are really fun formats for me. So thanks for watching, and good luck in your drafts.